In this video, we'll show you how to create a key that uses the subjective scoring area. Many Scantron forms feature a subjective scoring area. It's often used to add essay or lab scores to a unit test score. See the online interactive user's guide at scantronscore.com for more ideas on how to use subjective scoring to expand your tests. Now that you know a little bit about subjective scoring, let's find out how to use it. Step 1. Obtain the form. Begin by using the same test form the students used for the test. Step 2. Mark the total possible subjective points. In the subjective scoring area, fill in the total possible subjective points. Mark no more than one bubble per row. Notice that this makes the maximum possible subjective points 100 plus 50 plus 9 plus 4 or 163. In this example, we want 100 possible subjective points, so we just mark the 100 bubble. Step 3. Mark the key marking row. Fill in the remainder of the key as you would normally. Find the key marking row immediately above question number 1. For this example, we mark the 5 bubble to mark it as a key and to print the raw score. We mark the 2 bubble to print the correct alpha answer next to any questions students got wrong. And we mark the percentage bubble to add a percentage score. Step 4. Mark the correct answers. Finish creating the key by marking all the correct answers. There! That completes the key. All that's left to do is mark the student's subjective score on each test before scoring. That's covered in the video called Scoring a Test with Subjective Scoring. We'll see you next time!